All right, I want to say this right now. I am no longer a sports fan, nor will I ever call myself a sports fan again. From now on, I am a fan of the game. If you're watching this video right now, I want you to do me a favor and spread this to every sports-related YouTube channel on this platform. Just, just spread it around and let all of them see it, especially the channels that really care about the game. You know those channels that put time and effort in to talk about the game, talk about the stories related to the game, to analyze the game itself. Spread it to those channels because from now on, all of us who truly care about this game need to refer to ourselves as fans of the game. And we need to separate ourselves from those sports fans. Because let me tell you this, a fan of the game truly respects and loves whatever sport they're supporting. They want what's best for it, and they want to be able to watch the best performances by the best teams. So they want what's best for every team. Number one, they want what's best for their team. But they also want what's best for other teams because they want their team to go up against and beat the best teams in that league. A true fan of the game understands that young players need time to develop. It's not easy to become an all-time great player. It takes time and hard work and effort to become that. So it takes that time to develop. A true fan of the game gives those young players an opportunity to grow into becoming a great player. Some of them always don't work out, but you do what you got to do. Some work out, some don't, but you at least give them the opportunity to prove themselves. You don't overwrite them and say they're not going to be great. A true fan of the game gives them that chance to grow and develop and show them, show us that they can become a great player. We also understand that no matter what sport you're playing, it's not an easy game. And especially when you get to these professional games and you're in these leagues, you're going up against some of the best players in the world. So it's not an easy game. And coming in at such a young age, it takes time to get adjusted and being able to handle that type of league. So a true fan of the game understands that they need that time to develop. But when they have a great performance, especially at such a young age, you give them credit and appreciate that they were able to have that great performance at such a young age. You don't take away from that just because they're not playing the great team. You respect that moment, you appreciate that moment, and you enjoy that moment because that's why you watch the game. You love seeing young players grow and put up great performances at such a young age because you feel like it could be a sign of what's to come in the future and you can't wait to see that. Because you truly love the game. A true fan of the game understands that criticism is just warranted with these players. Nobody in any sport is above criticism. So when they have a bad game, they deserve criticism. Criticism is absolutely warranted when they have a bad performance. But you understand there's a limit to that. You only criticize them for that performance. And you hope that the criticisms you give them will give them that motivation to work harder and be better next time. Coming back just much more improved. Especially when you see in these postseason games where these young guys come out and they may not put a great performance or they have a bad performance, they end up getting eliminated. You criticize them for that performance and you hope that this criticism is going to reach them and they will use that criticism as motivation to work hard in the offseason and come back a better player than they, the way they were when they lost that game. That's what a true fan of the game does. You understand that. You give criticism where it's warranted and you give praise where it's warranted. A true fan of the game understands all of this. Because we know this is not an easy league. And we um, it's not an easy sport. No matter what you're playing. Basketball, soccer, football, golf, tennis. It's not easy. So when a young person accomplishes something at such a young age or makes history, you appreciate it. At the same time, you understand that they're young. So they still have room to grow and develop and improve. So you give them that time. That's what a true fan of the game does. A sports fan, however, they do not do that. A sports fan finds every possible way to criticize a player, especially if they don't like them. They find some of the most meaningless things, anything they, any bit of information they can get their hands on, they will use it to criticize them, and they'll say somehow that impacts their legacy, especially with young players. I don't know what's wrong with sports fans, but for some reason... They just seem to hate all these young players and they're just hoping on their downfall for no reason. They don't want to give these young players time to develop. They expect them to come out. If they're coming straight from college, they expect them right off the bat to be a superstar in the NBA or to all of a sudden be one of the uh, uh, full-time first, um, first team all pro right off the bat first year in the NFL. 
It's insane, especially with quarterbacks. I've seen this with so many quarterbacks. They expect these young quarterbacks to come into the game and all of a sudden be Super Bowl caliber quarterbacks already, be MVP caliber quarterbacks already. It don't make I, I just... Uh. Sports fans piss me off beyond belief because they don't even seem to enjoy the game anymore. They just watch the game so they can find some way to nitpick and criticize a player for no reason. They want to find the way, and not only that, they take away from every performance a young player has. Young player, if he's playing against a team that may not be great, but he throws five touchdown passes, mm, eh, it was against a bad team, so it don't really mean anything. A young player in the NBA, maybe he's in his rookie season or his second season, he drops 60 on a team that's not great, but at the end of the day, he drops 60 points. It don't really matter. Look at that team. They're a lottery team. They're not going to the playoffs. Like, what is wrong with you people? You got to understand. These guys are young. They just got in this league. They're still developing. They have time to grow and improve. Yet at that young age, they were able to put up a great performance. Or maybe in some cases, a historic performance. Why can't you just appreciate that moment? Why do you have to criticize and ruin everything? Sports fans ruin everything. And it really makes you question if they really actually like this game or if they just come here to criticize players for no reason. It's absolutely ridiculous. So if there's anything you take away from this video, understand this. If you truly care about the game, do not call yourself a sports fan. You are a fan of the game. Whether you support basketball, you support golf, you support tennis, you support football, you support soccer, whatever you support, you're a fan of that game. You are not a sports fan. If you support multiple type of sports, you are still a fan of the game. Because it don't it does, a fan of the game is not specifically tied to one sport. They're tied to many sports. So you can be a fan of the game. It can be several different games. You truly care about the game that you're watching. You will recognize yourself as a fan of the game. You will no longer call yourself a sports fan. Not only that, but you will separate yourself from sports fans. Because sports fans, they're not real fans. They don't care about the game. They just want to criticize somebody just so they can criticize somebody. And they want to just, I, I, I can't even deal with them anymore. I'm so sick of sports fans now. I will never call myself a sports fan again. No one I ever recall to, like anybody that I believe truly cares about the game, I will no longer call you a sports fan. From now on, if you really care about the game, you're a fan of the game. That's all I got to say. Thanks for watching, and man, I'm so sick of sports fans. I'm tired of them.